Hi there, my name is Michael and I'm here to show you how my asset free draw works. So if you open up the example drawing scene in the asset, you're greeted with this scene here. And very simply what you can do in the scene is uh, draw in this nice little white area. And keep in mind, I'm definitely not an artist. And using these pens in the bottom corner here, um, we can change the color. And of course, in your game, you can change these colors to be whatever you want. They don't have to be red, green, and blue. And we also change the width of the pen. So let's make a really big face. And let's say maybe um, I don't like some of what I drew, so I'm going to click this eraser and erase some of that. So you can now see that um, it's now the same color as the camera background color. All right. So this masterpiece is done. Looks beautiful. Let's stop playing. You can see you can see that this image remains even after we're done playing. So if we take a look at the image actually being changed, we can click here, um, click on the sprite renderer, and we go to the import settings, we can see in the bottom right here, we actually were directly changing a PNG image while the game is playing. So that's the gist of it. We're going to be altering an image while the game is playing, so you can draw on it directly. So how do we set that up from scratch? Let's take a look. I'm just going to create a new scene so it's completely empty. I'm going to drag in drag an image that I want to use. So let's drag in uh, an image that I prepared ahead of time. It's just um, transparent, so it is just a 700 by 700 transparent PNG that I made in paint.net. Here you can take a look. It's just completely empty. So I drag that in here, and what I'm going to want to do is drag this onto my scene. Now I know we can't see it yet, <laughs> but the first thing, the first step that we're going to do is click over here on the import settings, and we're going to want to click set read write enable. This is very important. It's not going to work if you don't do that. So click that, enable read write, and then we also want to turn off compression because that can lead to an error if it's not the right setting. There we go. Now hit apply. Now what we want to do is uh, apply a uh, box collider 2D so it can actually detect raycasts. And now if we actually switch to our scene view here, there we go. We can now see here's our transparent image. I know we can't see it yet. Um, and then we also add, want to add on a script called Drawable. So on Drawable here, we can set what layer we want to be able to draw on. And I'm going to create, I'm just going to use a layer that I already set up ahead of time called Drawing. So I'm going to set my object to have that layer. And I'm going to set my drawing layers to match that. So there we go. And I want my reset color when I press play, I want my image just to be set completely white. And I want it to reset every time I play. That's what this little boolean does. So let's hit play. There we go. We got a nice white image. And as you can see, we can now draw on it. Perfect. So if you wanted to, you could then um, create a canvas like you saw in the example scene and add in those markers. And there's a number of scripts here. If you look at the drawing settings, there's some helper methods to help set the color of the pen and the width. Um, but that, aside from that, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Uh, thanks for tuning in.